atmosphere really is building as we count down towards the big one. Still to come tonight, Felix Sturm, WBA Super Champion at middleweight against Matthew Macklin representing Ireland, the homeland of his parents, so those born in Britain, hails from Birmingham. That's coming up shortly. Next up, though, also from the UK is the Brixton Bomber. It's Danny Williams, the conqueror of Mike Tyson. Once upon a time, what does he have left? He's in action against Manuel Shah. Heavyweights, eight rounds coming up. And Manuel Shah, known as the Diamond Boy. Unbeaten in 17 so far. Can he sparkle? A Syrian born fighter. Nearly six and a half foot off him as well. 26 year old up against 37 year old Williams from London. And Williams in the dark shorts with the gold trim starting brightly. Mixing attacks head to body. Looks lively, doesn't he? Danny Williams setting up the jab. Who knows, maybe rolling back the years. Sharply striped shorts. Made his debut six years ago and already winning all of his 17 fights. He's been pretty busy too, despite some inactivity. He spent a bit of time out of the ring for one thing or another. Ask not. Swinging left hook that from Shaw. He almost took the lights out. Big right hand. He's got fast hands. He's a busy fighter for a heavyweight shot. Definitely got work rate. He sense that might be important tonight. Williams, how much does he have left? He looked a spent fighter last spring when Derek Chisora stopped him in two rounds at Upton Park. And you thought surely there was no way back that night in West London. But he has reappeared, albeit under a Latvian boxing license to win his last two. What those spring wins in February uh, sorry, March and April told us winning in two and one round respectively, probably not a lot. But he's looked lively, Williams, in this opener. Trying to control the pace from the outside. A low blow from Shah. Referee says, whoa, and he doesn't call the halt to the action, and Shah follows up. He's got Williams in the neutral corner. Left hook, and again, and Danny Williams has staggered back and on slightly unsteady legs. Overhand right, Williams in a bit of trouble in the opener. Well, he's never lacked grit or dig or courage, Danny Williams. And he's trying to fight back. Looks as though there's a cut on the right eye of Manuel Sharp. Thumping punch, one off them after the bell. And although Danny Williams had his successes, you probably give that to Manuel Sharp on work rate right alone. And just watch the right eye of Shaw because he is going to emerge with a cut to his right eye. And did a huge overhand right that do. Williams did well to take, he was leaning back, which may just have taken some of the heat out of the punch. Follow-up left at him, no good at all. Oh, he's been here so many times, Danny Williams. 53 times he's made an appearance here, he's won 43 of them. But his real big days were 
six, seven years ago. Took out a faded Mike Tyson back in 2004 and a memorable fight stateside. And then he went down courageously, of course, to Vitaly Klitschko, where he was repeatedly downed and succumbing finally in eight rounds. He's up against another hungry fighter here, Neil Manuel Sharp. He's born in Beirut and Lebanon, but Syrian heritage now fighting out of Germany. And very much one of the potential stars of Stone Promotions. That's how he's been billed anyway. A few of the German-based fighters, Sharp comes forward under that tight high guard. Sort of thing you've got used to seeing from the likes of Arthur Abraham and, of course, top of the bill, Felix Stern, very much likewise. Good jab from Sharp. Left to the body and that variety. Working to the right of the ribcage there of Danny Williams. Look out for that body shot. Remember, left hook to the body a couple of years ago was the signature punch for Manny Shah when he took care of Gabenga Haluku and stopped him in seven with exactly that punch. Does move well for a big man. Maybe lacks that real dig you need, perhaps at top level. He did stop Jonathan Pazzi though in five when he fought last in February. And he weighed in at 234 pounds. That not the lightest he's been in his career. So he's definitely taking this more seriously. Good left hook as well. That from Manuel Shark. Williams responds in kind. He's on left to the body. But he takes two in reply. And that's the, the problem for Williams. He's fighting in spurts. He's having his successes. But overall, Manuel Shard is just doing more on his the eye catching punches. A long lingering stare between the fighters at the end of the second. And it's a weary walk back to the corner for Danny Williams. Danny Williams walking on to a stiff jab that glanced away above his right eye, but it was the left hooks that were doing the damage in the second. Double clubbing shots from Manuel Sharp, who despite being cut inside the right eye, seems to be coming out on top. He's tired already. Excuse some of the language, but it's getting late. And it's heavyweight boxing. Corner seems to think Danny Williams is tiring already as we head into the third. Manuel Shah in the striped shorts, if you're just joining us, probably won the opening two rounds. And looking busy at the start of the third. Responding to his corner's urgings to just put his foot on the gas and grab control of this fight. And he's got the nine stoppages so far in 17, which by heavyweight standards, probably lower down the radar, isn't it? He fought Zach Page back in December. He's a, a fighter who's been sort of familiar, American journeyman, but pretty reliable and solid, Zach Page. And he went the distance with Shaw back in December. He's a fighter who's taken the likes of Tom Dallas and indeed Tyson Fury, both young up and coming Brits. He's taken that pair the distance in his career. So that's a solid enough level of form. Yeah. 
Williams went for the left uppercut. British fight fans will remember Danny Williams' heroic performance when he won the British and Commonwealth title back in 2000 against Mark Potter. He stopped him in the sixth, but well, he dislocated his right shoulder that night, Danny Williams, so you could actually see it hanging out off the socket while he fought on. He fought one-handed that night, would you believe? And he delivered a left hook with that one hand to stop Mark Potter in the sixth. It was a quite amazing piece of bravery as well as improvisation from Williams. And you fancy he's going to require something of that nature this evening if he's to cause the upset and emerge on top. Williams just staggered back from the leg. Turkey's on unsteady legs and Manuel Schott's beginning to unload. Worrying times for Danny Williams. A terrific left hook in close as well from Sharp. Oh, and the uppercut was a stinging one. He is beginning to just dip into his box of tricks, Manuel Sharp. It's a good right from Williamson. It looks as though he's opened up another cut this time on the left cheekbone. So Manuel Sharp on top, but cut now in two places. And beginning to unload some heavy bombs at the end of the third. Bravery from Danny Williams. Well, Sharp is on top, but he's showing the scars of battle. There's a deep gash releases out of his line of vision towards the outside of the right eye, but the cheekbone now heavily swollen, bruised and cut. And that was, it looked as though it was a Williams right hand midway through that third. So just maybe hope for Williams yet. Corner saying, try and put some doubt into his mind. Shah really are struggling to stem the bleeding and the cut on his right eye. Into the fourth. Heavyweight contest between Manuel Shah and London's Danny Williams. And Williams starting the fourth as he did the first. He spiked me with a jab. Trying to create a bit of space for himself. It really has been an honourable career for Danny Williams, British Commonwealth champion. That tilt at world at glory. He shipped a pretty serious right hook to the body there as well. Uppercut, Danny Williams leaning back in the ropes under pressure. Swung for the rafters with the right hand. And briefly Shah off balance with that Williams right. Another left hook. That's been the punch for Mambo Shah. Every time he throws that, he has Williams in some sort of bother. wonder how much is in the tank how much more effort can Danny Williams put in it really ought to be the last throw of the dice in truth for him double jab from Sharp and again and every time Williams creates a bit of space he's Forced to back off, he's under pressure, he just can't quite find his rhythm. Stinging jab back from Shah again. 
He has got a fantastic work rate, hasn't he? What a crowd-pleasing style he has. And you can see why he's a bit of a ticket seller in these parts. Less effective though, Shard in the fourth. And Shard just leaning in on Williams and ends a ticket off from the referee. Lunching left. There was contact there. I think it slipped too, and the referee. At the end of the fourth, did rule that a slip. Williams off balance, and just glanced on the gloves, and then I think he caught the left leg of Shard. Bloodstained gloves of both fighters, mainly from the cuts to the eye and the cheekbone of Manuel Shard, who landed most of the meaningful punches in that fourth round. Less busy, perhaps, very much on top. Shah being encouraged to put it all in to up the work rate to leave absolutely nothing to chance and they touch gloves and seem to be a bit of respect now and Manuel Shah has thought of sort of who's who on the American and South American scene fight Owen Beck just over a year ago managed to stop him in 10 although Beck admittedly quite the promising star he was a few years back he's lost four of four since Beck who of course fought unsuccessfully for the WBA heavyweight championship against Valuev five years ago so he's going to try them Tested route for Shard on the way up. Just blinking out of both eyes. The, the cuts are bothering him a, a little, Shard. Good body attack, and he just backs off to give himself the space. Less coming back from Danny Williams. Oh, big right from Shark. Williams looking to cover up. He's off balance. He's under pressure. Three or four unanswered punches, and Danny Williams is in a bit of trouble in the fifth. Well, he fell to the canvas. Perhaps pushed over as much as anything else, and glad for the moment's respite. And he looks to have gathered himself, Danny Williams. to the body and then the right from the London man. Shaw commanding centre ring. Oh, big right from Danny Williams. Just sneaked through the guard and he went for the follow-up. He's had his moments, the Englishman. Shrugged off by Shah Rulanza, left uppercut come hook on the inside. And another left hook. Trading jabs. And the bell goes to end the fifth. A good, busy round it was. And now Shah responding to his corner's urgings. Both corners pleading with our men. 
The career's on the line, they're telling Manuel Schott. The same could be argued for Danny Williams. Just a glancing blow, almost behind the head, in fact. Into the sixth. Williams a little slow off his stool. He touched gloves once again. Well, the heavyweight division, of course, full of Eastern Europeans. And even beyond the class of the Klitschko's, you've got the likes of Alexander Dimitrenko, recently beat Sosnovsky for the European belt. You've got the big Finn, Robert Helenius. And an emerging Bulgarian as well in the shape of Kubrat Pulev. Near mark for about with Ireland's Martin Rogan in the near future. So plenty of potential opponents just below and in a round championship level, European level for Manuel Sharp. Should he take this next step forward ahead of Danny Williams? Oh, big left hook from Shah, that's been the punch. And every time he's landed it, he's had Williams in some sort of bother. He's trying to dance away from trouble now, the Londoner. Another left hook. And the cheers from the home supporters is Manuel Shah. They're looking to press on the advantage. Since Danny Williams attempting to read that left hook, it's been a wide arcing punch from Shah that, despite the distance he's travelled, has managed to connect on numerous occasions so far. Just a minute left in the sixth. Jolting short right from Manuel Sharp, and another one. Danny Williams backing off, mouth open. And he's having to dig deep now, ships another overhand right. And he's backed into that far corner. Two jabs and Danny Williams now taking a bit of ladder. Stiff jab in close from Manuel Shah, who really has upped the work rate again in the sixth. Another jab, and what's been a breathless stanza this sixth, almost at an end. There's another left, and Manuel Shaw is starting to unload. There goes the belt, the referee splits them up. Two rounds remaining. Round. Danny Williams' successes have got fewer as the fight has progressed. And well, Shark he started the fifth and the sixth rounds with a bit of intent. G'd up by his corner. Very much suggesting make or break for him. Hamburg. These days, Sharp, seen at the big heavyweight clash, of course, in a week's time. Everybody looking forward to that one. A bit of defiance from Danny Williams. Swinging away left and right, maybe. 14, 15 unanswered punches. He's beckoned forward by Shah. And Williams obliges. How about this? And back comes Shah. And with a little more success, and Danny Williams forced to cover up. 
The referee holds him off and he's waved it off. The first bit of concerted pressure from Manuel Shah. Uh, maybe a little prematurely, but the referee steps in and it's win number 18 on an unbeaten run for Manuel Shah. They raise the German flag. Danny Williams has a glance up to the skies and you just wonder if it is finally the end of his adventure. Well, he's had a terrific career, Danny Williams. He shakes his head and perhaps in truth it was a premature end. And the truth is, though, Manuel Shah was very much on top and was on his way anyway. Shah it is, who takes the celebrations, enjoys the applause. The Diamond Boy perhaps didn't quite sparkle this evening, but he's registered another win. That is 18th in a row, and he's still on his way. Well, insult to injury, Danny Williams just shrugged aside there so that Shah can celebrate in that corner as well. Talk about rubbing salt into the wound. And perhaps a little unfair on the Englishman. Still, the big occasion. His friends and family can celebrate another Diamond Boy win. Well, a rueful look for Danny Williams. What now? What now indeed? The official confirmation. Almost reluctant to take part. It's Danny Williams. He knows that that's the end of the road. It's a winner by TKO in the seventh. An unbeaten Manuel Shah wins again. <laughs>